All right, so first off, the number one thing that you can do to prevent line twist and nasty knots and just cruddy line is to re-spool often. For some people, that might be once a season. Uh, depends how much you go fishing. I re-spool, I mean, I would say a half dozen times easy throughout the season just for how much use that the rods get. But uh, here's a couple other things that helped me. I'm not even sure where I heard of this, so I apologize for not giving credit to whoever was the first to do it. Fill up a bowl with warm water. Um, and you've heard of running spools underneath faucets with warm water because it helps, I guess, relax the coils and uh, get rid of line memory. Well, when I spool, what I'll do is I'll actually just throw the spool in the uh, bowl of warm water and what this does is when I'm spooling up, that I don't have to worry about what direction the line is coming off of the spool and getting those coils or creating coils because that spool has the ability to roll and float and flip over as it needs to. Plus you're getting the added warm water to help relax the coils and it just makes it a dream come true to spool by yourself. Look at that. See there it just flipped because it was coming off in the wrong direction. Of course, it's a little bit splishy splashy, so you might not want to do it on your kitchen table. Your wife might get mad at you. But just a really slick way to re-spool. Know that your line is coming off in the right direction. See there, it spun again, so it must have been getting some twist in it. I don't got to worry about trying to hold a spool by myself either, having it roll around on a garage floor, or uh, you know, do the old pencil trick, or whatnot but yeah easy as that uh, you can even do it over the edge of the boat I mean obviously it's not warm water then but make sure that you pick up the spool when you're done spooling up but then look at how nice that that line comes off of there it just lays off it's not all coily and this has been sitting on this tiny micro suffix spool in my garage for probably a year and it doesn't shoot off and just create a mess another thing that i really like is this it's kvd line conditioner it's been around a long time and uh this is great for you spray it on your line same thing it gets rid of the memory and whatnot if i don't have time to re-spool before a trip out i will just douse the spool with a couple sprays of this and it really helps the other thing that i've seen tony roach talk about a lot is between every trip where I go ice fishing, I stretch the memory out of that line as well. So on my first drop when I'm going out, I'll tighten the drag a little bit and I will basically hand spool the bait down to the bottom and it pulls out any memory that there is. This is a fresh spool so it doesn't have any. Makes life a lot easier on the ice for sure. Another little thing that if you're somebody who re-spools often or has a lot of rods to do even if it's once a year, so worth the money. It's like 15 or 16 bucks and uh, it's called a Rapala line stripper or line remover Something like that and you run the line through here Hold the button down and it strips that line off of your spool So you don't have to sit there and do this for five minutes It's about five ten seconds and boom you're done especially on these little ice reels, but makes life a lot easier Probably the best 15 bucks I've spent Try it out